All right, guys, today I'm going to show you guys the best builds, runes, and playstyle when you play Mordekaiser top lane in the new patch. So, yeah, what you want to run is Conquer, Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand, Revitalize, and Bomb Plate. Now, as for the starter item, you have two choices. You either go into the Doran Shield as a starter item, which is actually uh, the best choice you can go for, or you can go for the more risky choice, which is a Dark Seal. I really like going for a dark seal so I can uh, so I don't have to buy it later. Because if you snowball out the laning phase, uh, you can actually like easily win games with it. If you get stacks, you don't make any mistakes, you can snowball incredibly hard. We're gonna take a push here. She's probably gonna be throwing her passive at me all the time though. So we're gonna have to try to avoid that. For the build, we are going to start off with a Rift Maker. And after Rift Maker, we will focus on uh, getting the Magi. If, as long as we don't feed, I'm not assuming we're going to feed, of course. Kind of depends on how hard we can snowball based uh, and whether we hard snowball or not. We'll decide on whether we go for Magi. Take my ear right here. And after the Riftmaker, the next item will be a Demonic's Embrace and having Zanias. Uh, possibly maybe a Nash's Tooth in between so we can have uh, more damage. In terms of like, ooh, yeah. oh, you can get the one. Since Zao might actually be coming topside actually. I'm just focusing on getting the push out right now, not necessarily like trading, uh, trading this guy. So like two pots remaining. She will go for the CS here. Okay. Oh, it's my W again so I can heal up off it. There's currently a Xin Zhao right behind me. So... Hold on a second. Aha! Okay, he's walking back. Here. I was expecting Xin Zhao to at least try to like gank me, but he walked around me. Sure. It's fine. I'm gonna sell this one, just take the pot. I actually wanted to pressure our Poppy here, like we had a great push here going. But the Xin Zhao like appeared to be ganking like right behind me like way too early, so I couldn't do much. As soon as we walk back to lane, we're going to focus on getting this wave to push down into Poppy again. We kind of want to force her to stay in the lane. We'll see what, how it turns out. Let's push this out. She's going to try to reset it. We try not to make that happen. Okay. Kill flash too. Okay, that's a trade. The next time she will not have flash anymore. And the good thing is that the, that the wave is currently pushed up towards me. So she will have to TP back. And she's going to TP herself into an awful position. So now we're just going to wait for her to use it. Oh, we missed a CS. Whoops. So apparently she's walking back to lane rather than TPing, which is also smart. But that also means I can actually freeze down the wave. So. Perfect. I'll just wait for it to come back. We're going to have a slight advantage, like a very tiny advantage from this. So their Jonah is currently in bot lane. He's literally showing up for a second. I'm not going to lie to you though. Like this is like one of those matchups. Where once you once you play this out, it's more of like a farming lane rather than like a snowbally lane. So be aware of this. Like Mordekaiser can set up ganks really well to kill Poppy. We also scale pretty well as well. Um, but I'm expecting this Poppy to eventually be unkillable. I'm assuming he's probably going to go for magic resist here. We'll see how it turns out. As for your Q, you never want to hit your Q just with CS alone. Uh, I mean, CS with the uh, champ alone. If you can get like a solo target, your Q can do more damage. So if you can zone him out, 
to do more damage, you definitely should take the chance. We can actually kill him right now. Wait, I'm just I'm not going to poke him right now. I'm going to make him stay here. Okay. We buy some time right now. Need leaves on the way. My ultimate's going to give the time it needs. Yep. So you see Needly is coming top lane. Rather than just waiting for Needly to arrive, you simply lock your opponent into your ultimate. And then all you have to do is simply wait for the right opportunity. You saw that? Like Needly was able to position herself exactly where you know she needs to be. I'm just get a free kill like that. So it's it's sort of like a Camille uh Camille ultimate. You just use it to Make the walk like, make your jungle walk towards you. Keep them trapped. The hey, Squicky, coming with a sub. Thank you so much for subbing, man. You're actually the first sub today, by the way. Welcome to the sub family, man. Thank you so much. So we, now we have like two, uh, two stacks off that kill. Nice. We're going to do the same thing. Our ultimate is like 70 seconds. So we're just going to walk ourselves back. And we'll do the same thing. Got this one. Needly is currently in blue. Okay. I actually want to take that CS, but she will go for the full trade. Let's block it with uh, with my W, so we don't take the damage from the from the CS. Oh, missed another one. You can definitely notice that this is my first game today, man. <laughs> In terms of farming, I feel like a little bit rusty. There we go. So every single time that she is going for a CS, that's going to be the moment you want to drop your entire combo. Tank this up again. Do not want to take like free damage from the uh, from the CS. Since Zhao is currently in bot lane. So we can, uh, we don't have to worry about the enemy jungle. My ultimate's ready. We're gonna trap this guy again, like we did before. Just trapping him. And got him. You see, like it's so incredibly, it, Mordecai is a joke, man. It's it's a joke playing this champion. Literally, you press R, your jungle comes in, you get her free kill because the guy can't walk out of you. It's literally a joke playing uh, playing Mordekaiser right now. There's so many people that uh, there's so many people that say that Mordekaiser is not a strong champion. In my opinion, you have no idea like what you're talking about. Mordekaiser's ultimate alone is like too perfect already. I get all of this stuff. Okay. And we're gonna reset. She's forced to farm up, so we can just uh, go back right now. Chill out. Take this one. They have a full AD team. So we're going to be building towards steel caps. I'm just going to sell my boots already. I mean, not my boots. I mean, my pots already. Because I, I don't need that right now. Kills. I could TP right behind. Wait. I need Needly to move up towards me. Got him. Awesome. I'm just going to push it out by myself. Uh, Poppy is about to get plates right now, but I will have to push this uh, things out. Otherwise, Vayne's going to get all the stuff. So, would have actually been very, very good if Aphelius decided to move top lane now instead of going bot lane. Because I could take plates for free and Poppy is getting plates now too. So, he should have approached this differently. If Aphelius was smart, he would just run top lane straight away, but... Basically losing two advantages right now. Whatever. We got like so many kills already. 
Hold on a second. Checking something up real quick. Alright. Wait, does Nita? Let's go. Got my ultimate. Well, I got this guy. Wow. Oh, I messed up my E, actually. I hope I get to survive this one. Oh, I messed up my E. Like, I wanted to position my E in, in a way that I could kick uh, Sin Zhao, like, back. Like, I wasn't... I accidentally clicked this, like, like here instead of here. Because I kind of got confused of the cooldown. My bad. Really messed it up. I nearly lost my stacks right now. Um... I want to go for Nasher afterwards. We're already going to start building towards it. Uh, by the way, just a quick mention. Oh, I, I see on my phone right now that someone... I don't want to say the name, you know. But uh, someone has donated 1 euro 87. Uh, just letting you know that the alerter doesn't go off if it's below like 2 euros. But thank you for the, thank you for the tiny donation, man. Thank you so much for the tiny donation. Keep it... Remember, guys, if if it's below 2 euros, uh, the alert doesn't go off. Like, it's actually uh, being mentioned below the button, so... But thank you. It's pushing out. Oh, accidentally putting it right behind me there we go let's see if we can get some plates right now it's gonna be a hard game uh bot lane is having a terrible time they're already stacking like eight deaths right now hmm. this uh poppy is also getting strong because uh even though she doesn't have any kills she actually does have plates like, quite a few plates, actually. So, they're all grouping down in mid. I could try to, uh, to lock someone and then try and catch him. Maybe I'll, I'll try to kill Yasuo first. He needs to drag him towards me. Come here, come here. Okay, I got him. Thank you. Now you walk back again. We are 5-0 right now. We're going pretty fast. Like, we're already so fed. That guy's dead. Oof. We are 5-0, but uh, my team is uh, having a pretty bad time. I think that there's probably multiple people top lane. I think that she's they're probably like sitting in a tri bush. We're gonna have to be chilling out. Yep. They're coming in the tri bush. It's only Poppy and Lula though. <laughs> we'll fight this. Oh, we get stunned. Well, they can do much. I got a little by my side. You see that? Oh. I like how this guy plays it. Close. But I think that Sin Zhao is probably moving, uh, moving up here now. Or not. He's pushing this out. I got you. That's another catch. Poppy doesn't do much. Like she doesn't do any damage on me anymore. I'm going too massive for this guy. Hey, Fluxy coming with 100 bits. 
<laughs> Flexi, thank you so much for the 100 bits, man. Thank you, thank you. Let's go for Rootmaker. And we'll be getting Magi for the stacks. And we'll get be we'll be getting this. And we're also gonna get Red Trinket now. I can actually TP right behind here and kill this uh Yasuo. Okay, I don't know where you're going. Oh. <laughs> I missed my Q like twice in a row. <laughs> but Mordecai is so strong, we're, we're still doing too much damage, man. <laughs> like I said, Mordecai is just kind of no brain. If you're looking for a top laner that plays the game in itself, then Mordecai is definitely like a champion you should consider like picking up. It's going to be a fight in mid lane. Okay. Uh, Yumi should definitely jump out of that one. There we go. Just keep bombing out. We just keep have. Uh, uh, you know, my team is having such a terrible time. We literally have all the kills of the game. We're just gonna push our lead as much as possible with my ultimate. My ultimate gives me opportunities, which I cannot do without it. For instance, like ulting Vayne and then just killing her straight up in my own ultimate. I want to get a blue buff actually. I'll try to steal our blue buffs because I think they're going to steal themselves. Got my flash ready, got my TP and like, t I mean my ultimate in like 10 seconds. Take this real quick before they steal it themselves. There's Poppy over here. Okay, you are asking for this. <laughs> oh, you're dead. Got you. <laughs> Yumi actually took the kill right there. <laughs> I don't think that he... Uh... I don't think that he he saw that he was slow, so low on HP. I think that Yumi just wanted to like hit the auto and that's it. <laughs> and then it turns out to be a kill. He actually took the kill with like, like a simple auto attack. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to base again. Funny thing, my team is surrendering the game. I'm literally like 7-0 and, oh, and they still surrender the game like... What are you doing? Like, what on earth are you thinking? I'm literally this fed. All you have to do is just walk circles and I'm doing it for you. But, uh... The unworthy are dust, to wither and fade. Like, kind of, like, all I want my team to do right now is just literally walk in circles and just... Grouping up, that's it. Just let me play out the game. They don't have to surrender. They're grouping top lane, so I'm just going to take this camp here. There's two people over here. I got my ultimate in like a few seconds from now. The uh, problem is that Yumi cannot actually follow me in my ultimate, so that's an issue. It's, it's not a good combination. <laughs> I got you. There we go. These guys are all dead. I'm too strong right now. <laughs> you see that? We are we are turning this like it's nothing, man. You see that? Mord People say that Mordecai is a bad champion. I mean, just look at this, man. <laughs> we just flash, flash R this Yasuo and then we just kill everybody instantly. There we go. We're going to go for Demonic's Embrace right now. Let's take all of this stuff. Now we push next wave. 
We take the this camp as well. Nice. We take this one. That's a massive fight at Baron right now. Fortunately for them, I can't really do much. I got my TP, but uh, or maybe. This will be a pretty difficult one. Oh, she's gonna die eventually. Okay, she's running. Oh, Yasuo eventually gets me right now. Yeah, I was not expecting that. I could have easily killed Sin Zhao by myself. It sucks that Vayne managed to walk away right here. With like only one uh, Q left to do. Like this guy, be aware guys, even though we are super mega fed right now, this Vayne has been overly feeded, right? She's way too massive. She has like two items already. She's onwards her th third item right now. Okay, we're gonna walk mid lane. We'll see what we can do to prevent uh, this game as a loss. We'll see how long we can hold it for. I doubt that this game is like ever winnable. You see like even despite us being so fed, our ADC has like 90 CS at like 23 minutes. This guy is too far behind. I don't think he will ever return in the game. I think it's going to stay useless forever. Even if we make a, a decent comeback, he will never be useful anymore. But we'll see how long we can hold things for. We've got a Phalias on the side lanes. Blue up spawning soon, but we can't really uh, take that one. I need like a bit more for my uh, for my item as well. Can't really go bot lane because they, they have no vision. Like absolute no vision there. That's going to be a massive team fight. We can try to like hit my EQ into and then hit all of them. I'm ex suspecting that they probably warded the bush. They probably have. We just have to get like one combo off and that's it. Nope. Not there. We'll never win this team fight though. Will never happen. My team is too weak to even try and consider this. Yeah, she will not. She will not live off that. No, never happen. They're trying a team fight that will never work. Like I said, that would never work ever. My team is too far behind for that. We need an actual power to, to, to stand in. Well, there's like 20 seconds to try and pull something. No. Well, we can ult someone that still doesn't make a change. We got a catch, but uh, nope. Either way, guys, fortunately, team is not by our side, but uh, this is Mordecaster top. Uh, one thing before the YouTube video ends, you know, this entire game was being played live on stream. Make sure to check out the uh, stream. It's The link is inside the description below. But uh, yeah, see you next time. Peace.